Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video in which I make this card for you. To start the process I put a card blank, 4 by 6 inches smooth white cardstock card blank in my stamp positioner because I wanted to stamp directly on it and my stamp positioner has a firm foam pad in the bottom that has just the right amount of give to get a good stamped image. I used an acrylic block instead of the positioner door because it is a little bit quicker, you don't have to faff around with the door. And as these were going to be pale background images, I didn't need to get perfect impressions. So I've got some butterfly stamps, big butterfly stamps, and they're quite textural. They've got a mixed media vibe to them. And my idea was to have these large butterflies as background texture to my main images. So I've got Catherine Pooler inks here in three shades of red. Cotton Candy is the lightest. Then there's It's a Girl and then Party Dress. So I stamped my biggest butterflies in Cotton Candy. These are the lightest ones so they'll be in the background. And then I stamped some medium sized butterflies in It's a Girl. So that's a slightly darker shade of red which means they'll push the paler ones into the background even more. And I think the dye inks that I used gave some really lovely layering. For my next layer of butterflies, I wanted to use Party Dress, which is a really bold colour, and some smaller butterflies. And I decided to switch to using the Positioner Door because I knew that I'd probably want to double stamp my butterflies to get a really good impression in the bold ink. It didn't matter so much if the paler butterflies weren't stamped perfectly because as I said they're just for texture for background but I wanted the bright pink butterflies to be perfectly stamped. I did add a strip of card along the edge of my stamp positioner and this just gives me a little bit of extra room to the right of my card blank so that I can stamp off the side more easily while still being able to reposition the card blank should it shift around during the stamping process. So I rummaged through my butterfly stamp stash and pulled out a bunch of butterflies that were smaller than the ones that I'd already stamped but were more natural looking. The ones in the background were really kind of grungy and mixed media-y but these were more butterfly -y, if you see what I mean. So what I'm doing here is just adding butterfly after butterfly fluttering up in all directions from the bottom of the card blank. And these pink, these party dress butterflies stand out really well against that soft pink background and I was really happy with the way that this turned out. I wanted to add a bit of extra texture and a bit of dimension to the front of my card. So I took a stitched scalloped border die and die cut the edge of a piece of cardstock that was exactly the same height as my card blank. I then layered this over the edge of the butterflies, flipped it over, drew a pencil line, and then used my guillotine to chop that panel down so that it was exactly the right size to fit on my card blank where I wanted it to. I didn't want to cover up too much of my stamping, just a little bit, so the butterflies looked as if they were sort of peeking out from behind the scalloped piece. I used foam tape to adhere this to my card and I do like the little bit of dimension and extra pattern and texture that that gives. I did feel that the right hand side of the card needed a little bit of something extra so I used some gold washi tape and ran a thin gold border down the side and folded the washi tape over so it went onto the inside of the card which is a nice little treat for the person who opens the card. 
I then decided that I didn't have enough butterflies on this card so I took a butterfly die and cut it from card that I'd covered in the same washi tape that I'd used. I wanted a gold butterfly but I didn't want to bring in a different tone of gold so lining up the washi tape like this is a really great way of making die cuts that are the same gold as your washi tape if you see what I mean. I felt the butterfly needed a little bit more solidity because when I put it on the card it got a bit lost where it overlapped the busy pink butterfly so I backed it with some vellum For my sentiment I coloured a piece of smooth white cardstock with some more party dress to create a bold piece of card. I then die cut a strip sentiment that says just because, backed it with some white card and then popped it in the middle towards the bottom of the card where it could snuggle in amongst some butterflies. <laughs> I did add foam tape to the half that was over the stamped butterfly area because otherwise it would have just been flapping around. And then I brought in the gold butterfly and snuggled that around the sentiment as well. And as a finishing touch, I added Nouveau Drops in Morning Dew, which is a clear Nouveau Drop to the body of my butterfly to give it a bit of dimension and gloss and then I added some around and about all the other butterflies in the stamped area just to bring in a bit of gloss, a bit of shimmer, well less shimmer more shine I suppose as well as a bit of dimension and that is this card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you a few ideas, maybe some tips if it has, please do let me know in the comments, leave a thumbs up, subscribe and ring that notification bell and I will see you back here tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching, bye for now. Thank you.